Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna do a special type of video because we're doing our first ever question and answer video to celebrate our milestone here on this channel. We just reached 5,000 subscribers thanks to each and every one of you guys. So I just wanna say before, first and foremost, that I am really grateful for each and every single one of you. If you're watching this video, I am grateful for the time that you're spending here on this YouTube channel to learn more about personal development and even stuff about love and relationships. If you wanna check out the other videos that I create, just go and click on these two but for this video we're gonna do a special kind of video this is like a celebratory video and hopefully this is gonna be the first one the first question and answer video that we're gonna do once we reach you know 10,000 subscribers and 50,000 subscribers and even 100,000 subscribers we'll be creating more question and answer video so you know just manifesting and throwing it out there and I've asked you guys some questions from my Instagram if you haven't followed me there yet go follow me there it's at Alec Cuenca and I ask you guys what are some questions that I need to answer. Some of the questions that you sent are personal questions and some of them are related to personal development. So I'm gonna try to pick the best ones out there. Don't worry, again, we'll have more question and answer. So if you have more questions, just write them down in the question or in the comment section so that I can pick them out in the next video. Now let's go ahead and answer the first question. And this came from at luluwilkins.10. He asked, what's your job slash profession? It's a question that it's still relatively hard to answer because I'm doing a lot of things, okay? I'm doing a lot of things, but I don't really have a fixed job. I could say that I am a content creator at best, but aside from that, I'm doing a lot of things. I'm doing some coaching on the side. I'm doing some mindset trainings, mindset coachings, life coachings. I accept one-on-one -on -one coachings. I have a group coaching session called The Better Me Project. Also, if you're interested, click the link below to join. It's an amazing session where we just talk about, or we deep dive about the topics that I talk about the podcast and here in the videos. And it's just an amazing community to be a part of. So if you're looking for a personal development group, please join the Better Me Project down below. But yeah, I do some coaching on the side. I also do some hostings. I am also a digital marketer. I help certain brands, certain individuals, even certain organizations and companies to build their brands on TikTok and on the podcast. And also, now I can add YouTuber as a profession. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, next question came from RN underscore Gail20. She asked, what's my favorite self-help book? I love this question so much because... You know, books have changed my life for the better and I would be more than happy to share with you the books that I deeply appreciate. And I don't know if this is a self-help book, but I consider this one because all the journey or the journey that I am on started with this book and it is the book from Paolo Coelho. It's called The Alchemist. It basically talks about how you can live your life and make your dreams come true. It's that. It's basically that. But it's more of understanding, you know, that life has all of these challenges and you can still realize your personal legend, as he says here. And it's for everyone. It's not just for me. It's not just for, you know, people who are interested in personal development. It's for everyone. So I recommend reading this first because this opened my heart in learning more that there is more to life than to just survive and to just worry about how we can make money for us to have food on the table, to have a shelter. I mean, of course, we can be grateful for that but there's so much more to life than that and this book opened my eyes to that so i hope that you read this book this is my favorite self-help book because it helped me a lot now let's go ahead and answer the next question and the next question came from alvarez.cj14 she asked what do you usually do on your me time now i'm an extrovert so most of the time i spend time with people talking to people socializing but for the moments that i have my me time i just usually read books i would love to apply deep work which is also something that i discussed in my previous video on how to be more focused and basically i just like to reread some of my favorite books in my me time and just have a nice cup of coffee and um, I'll just be by myself, enjoying myself, being in the present moment and reading about ideas and topics that really stimulate my brain. I really love that. Or sometimes I just wanna take it light. I just listen to some music. I am now in the face of discovering new music that really makes my heart happy, if I can say that. But it's just something that I do when I just want to distress and have my me time alone. I usually dance when I'm alone while playing some music at the background. But yeah, aside from reading books for my me time and playing music, I guess I also just love to 
be there and think about things. I enjoy meditation a lot. It's also something that I've been practicing a lot lately. And yeah, more on the personal development stuff still in my me time because yeah, I get to be alone with my thoughts, with myself. And that's where I answer the hardest questions I could possibly ask myself. Okay, our next question came from Jvanti underscore. He asked, what are my top three books? Now, as I've said, my favorite self-help books is The Alchemist, one of the top self-help books. But aside from this, I also have a lot of different books that I would like to share with you guys. I don't know if, yeah, I'm not sure that I have it here, but one of my favorite books is called The Think and Grow Rich. It's a book by Napoleon Hill. It's one of the classic. It made me understand more on how to achieve success. Here's the thing, you know, when we want to become successful, Successful, we need to study about success. When we want to be happy, we need to study about happiness, right? So reading books is something that I really enjoy and Think and Grow Rich is one of the books that opened my mind to learn more about success and not just in a way to be more rich in terms of our material wealth, but it's more of living a well-rounded life on how we can be wealthy in that aspect. So Think and Grow Rich is one of my top self-help books. The second one is The 5 AM Club. It's something that I am practicing now I'm also you know in the middle of shooting waking up 5 a.m. for 30 days so it's a video that you need to be excited about and so it basically talks about the importance of having that morning routine of being your best version of yourself by just applying the small change of habit that is waking up in the morning or waking up at 5 a.m. It's a fun book. It's more of a story filled book. It's not just about, you know, talking about this different concept. It's about a story of two people who are completely opposites, but they still figure out a way on how they could apply the 5 a.m. club in their lives. It's an amazing book. Go check it out. By the way, I am going to leave the links down below. If you want to go check it out, go ahead, buy them down below. Now, my third book that I would like to share with you, probably one of my favorite self-help book, is this book. I know the title, it looks cheesy, but um, it's really a good self-help book in learning how to love yourself more. And again, I've been an advocate of self-love and self-care for the longest time, but this book really put things into perspective. It's called Single on Purpose by John Kim, and it's basically about how you could learn more about yourself. And that's how change happens. When you start being aware of yourself, that's when you can actually change the things about yourself or redefine the things about yourself. Heading on to the next question, it's from Mate Tatu. How many books have you read for the past six months? I try to read one book every single week, but you know, I still am not keeping up to my promise, but I do or I manage to read at least three books per month. Here's a secret also if you want to read more books, read two books at the same time. It just allows you to shift from being creative and being productive and being or reading a fiction book, allowing your creativity to be there and learning more about these different concepts about science and all that psychology stuff. Read two books at the same time. It helps you read more books in a month. So for me, I've read in the past six months, probably six, 12, 18, probably about 15 to 18 books for the past six months. It's really nice. Huh. Okay, next question came from Sam. Dot Andrada, where do you find strength when you hit rock bottom? I am very open and vocal about the moments that I hit rock bottom. And I could say that the strength or the thing that I am holding on when I hit rock bottom is actually my faith. It's my relationship with God. It's my relationship or my trust in the universe that everything will make sense. Because when I'm in my rock bottom, I can't rationalize myself out of it. So I make sure that I tap into a higher source that can help me get past through that. So my friends and family, they're very supportive in my darkest moments. I tried my best to have that self-belief, to remind myself, to affirm myself, but it all falls down to just surrendering to my faith, surrendering to God, surrendering to the universe, that it will all make sense, that I am exactly where I am supposed to be. So yeah. Okay. Next question came from Gian, how to keep yourself motivated. And I've talked about this in some of my podcast episodes. Basically, motivation is not something that you wait. If you consistently wait for motivation to come, it may never come and you might never act. So I always remind people that motivation is not only the cause of action, it's also the effect of it. So if you want to be motivated, then you got to be able to just act 
first before you can find motivation, before you can gain motivation. And uh, there's a lot of strategies that I use to have more motivation. But one thing that really helps me is that I just do one simple thing. I just start with the simplest thing that I can do and then I'll carry off the momentum from there. And that's also something that you might want to add into your life. You don't need to finish the whole thing, especially if you're demotivated in your life. You just need to start off with the smallest thing that can set off your momentum. It can start your momentum. Now, next question came from at Ian Sizzle. What motivates you to do soft med fasting? All the best. And this is actually a really nice question because I recently came from a social media detox and I did that because I felt overwhelmed. I felt like I was letting all these stories of other people and um, you know the truths of other people into my life while I, I'm still trying to figure out mine. And when it came to a point that I was so overwhelmed, I just said, you know what? I just need to do a detox. And basically that's me being in a burnout with social media. And that's something that we need to be careful on. We need to make sure that we're regulating the use of our social media so that we don't get burnt out. We try our best not to compare our lives when we go on social media, but subconsciously we do it a lot. So unless you really master that trick, you need to be careful on how you manage your time on social media because I wasn't and I hit my burnout, but that's okay. You know, now I'm back. The social media detox helped me and maybe it could help you too. Try it out. Okay. Next question came from at itsme.melby. She asked, if today was your last day, can you walk me through how you'd spend it? If today was my last day, it's a nice question, by the way. I think what I would do is I would create more videos. I would do all that I can to create videos, to write, to create podcasts, to create content, because the message that I'm gonna put out there that's something that's gonna last. Maybe people will forget me after 50 years, after 100 years, but if my truth is valuable to people, if my truth deserves to be heard, if my message deserves to be shared, then it will be shared from one generation to another, and that's probably gonna be my legacy. You know, people might forget my name, but my message will share, and if it's true, and if it's really helpful, that's all I care about. So probably I'll do that, and of course, I'll say goodbye, and I'll say my peace to my family and my friends, and my loved ones. Yeah. Okay. The last question came from at Blue John. He asked the best advice you've received so far. Huh. I guess it would be this too shall pass. It's one of my favorite quotes. It's one of the best advice that I've ever received. Oh, maybe two. Can I, can I share two? Probably I can. So the first one is this too shall pass. It helps me to remain humble in my highest moments. And it also reminds me to keep going in my lowest moments. So that's the first one, this too shall pass. The second one is what if it works out better than I imagined? Our brain constantly thinks about what if it doesn't work out? But when I heard this advice, what if it does work out? What if it becomes so much better than how we've ever imagined it? Wouldn't that be so beautiful? And so every time I have fears, I have doubt, I remind myself that. And I hope that you remind yourself that too. So those are your questions. Thank you so much for sending those questions. If you have more questions, write them down below. I'll answer them in our next question and answer video. I'll probably create an Ask Alex segment here on the YouTube channel. So just don't be afraid or don't be shy. If you want to ask any questions, write them down below. I'll pick the best one and I'll create a video out of them if you'd like. And yeah, I guess that's it. Again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching the videos, for supporting the channel, for supporting that I create on my TikTok videos, on my podcast. Thank you, thank you so much, and thank you for the 5,000 subscribers here on my YouTube channel. This is only the beginning. We're just starting from here, and I can't wait to share more videos and more content with you guys. So, if you like this video, click that like button, comment, whatever you're thinking, any suggestions, comments, violent reactions, whatever, comment down below, and make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this one. That's all. See you guys next video. Peace.